tell me how you uh, you found this this new attack and developed the, the exploit against the copy trace software. Uh, it all started from uh, infection, not infection, but discovery of uh, of uh, some suspicious software running on computers of our colleagues, and we wondered why it was there. We analyzed uh, what it was and found that it was a legitimate software. And then we wondered why it was, what, what it was doing there, who installed it, who activated it, and whether it is vulnerable or whether it can be hijacked or used for evil purposes. So we analyzed the software, we analyzed the network protocol that it uses, and we found that it has no um, mandatory encryption in the communication uh, channel and it does not authorize, does not check the identity of, of the remote server that it talks to. And that means that if a man in the middle attack is possible, uh, then uh, this software can be hijacked, it can be uh, controlled by a potential attacker. And what could that attacker do to the, to the machine? Well, the software is uh, extremely flexible. It's a tiny piece of code, which is a part of your BIOS. And uh, as far as this is a part of the BIOS, it's not very easy to uh, update the software very often. So they made it as ex they, they made it very very extensible. Uh, so it can do merely anything. It can run arbitrary code, which means that you can do with the system whatever you want. And considering that the software is running with local system privileges, you have a full access to to the machine. So you can wipe the machine. You can monitor, you can look through the webcam, you can actually copy any files, you can start new processes, you can do absolutely anything. 